Hello sports fans and baseball fans and replay baseball fans. It's me, Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z. I'm here to tell you about a new project I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to be with Payoff Pitch and I am going to do the 1979 Chicago White Sox season replay. Now, um, the parameters of that are going to be that I am only going to track statistics for the White Sox and whatever teams they're playing when they're playing them. So at the end of the season, the season uh, compiled statistics will only be for the White Sox. The other teams will have some statistics compiled, but I'm not going to track those because it's only going to be incidental when they play us um, and, you know, be tracking it in their, in their box scores. But I will be, and we'll get to this in a minute, I'm going to be saving all the box scores and I'm going to do write-ups for every game. That is something that um, I'm taking from uh, Dave Gardner, actually, who said that, um, I believe he said that uh, for a lot of his uh, hockey replays, he does like a write-up about the game and, uh, you know, tries to, you know, and comes up with various, you know, details of the game uh, that go a little further maybe than a box score or just looking at the score would do. So that's what I'm going to do as well. I will have a write-up and we and a, a box score and we've already gone four games into the season of my 79 season. We are actually only two and one though because one of those games was rained out I got an uh, unusual uh, play reading in um, game two, I believe it was, of the season in the sixth inning of a 0-0 tied game against the Orioles. And uh, the roll came up that the game was rained out. So uh, we're going to make that up in as part of a doubleheader in August when we go back and visit the Orioles again. And uh, that may even not happen. It depends on uh, where we are, what our record is in August in the replay. Um, but anyway, as I said, we've actually played three games and we're two and one. We lost to the Orioles and we beat the Orioles. We beat the Orioles actually on opening day with Steve Trout on the mound allowing a lot of base runners but only two runs and going up against Jim Palmer their ace and Jim Palmer lost that game so we're two and one we also beat Toronto so we are two and one right now which is kind of cool um, uh, in real life the 1979 White Sox won 73 games now, the parameters I'm going to use, in addition to I'm only keeping statistics on the White Sox, so I will only keep the White Sox replay record, and I will only keep the White Sox replay statistics for the entire season. Um, in addition to that, I am not going to necessarily follow um, any of the... Um, any of the box scores, any of the actual usage, the as-played lineups, we're not doing that. I'll pitch who I want to pitch when I want to pitch them, and I will make the lineups that I want to make. Another thing that will uh, also be different is that players who came and went from the White Sox during that season, no. Uh, I've got the players that finished the year with the White Sox, and those are the players I'm going to use doesn't matter when they join the White Sox. And um, so that's going to be different because I'm going to have those players all season long. Uh, again, I'm not trying to go for the absolute realism and try to recreate that season with a replay. I'm trying to take these players that actually won 73 games in 1979 for the White Sox and see if I could do better. And part of doing better is you use the players in different ways and different amounts of time and in uh, different, different possibly situations. So that will also be different. I'm not going to follow that um, to a T. Um, so if you're looking for that, no, don't. Um, 
So you may see guys play a lot more than they actually did, and you might see guys play not nearly as much as they actually did. Just depends. Now, I'll follow injuries, so if players get injured in the payoff pitch game, then uh, the, they will be out for however long they get injured. And I will also rest players from time to time, just like a real manager would. Um, so it's not going to be like if no one gets injured, everybody plays, you know, 162 games. That won't happen. But we'll see what happens with it. Um, I will put these games on the site, on my, uh, on the Sportsman Z YouTube channel every once in a while. Not necessarily going to, um, hold myself down to a number of games to put on there or a schedule to put them up. Just every once in a while when I record them, I will put them up. <clears throat> but mostly what I'm doing is just playing the games um, off to the side and not recording them uh, other than doing box scores and, um, and write-ups. And mentioning that, we will take a look at the box scores and the write-ups for the games that I have done so far. Okay, so now you can see my uh, folders. I've got a folder for every game. So far, I've only made folders for up to game 10, but that's fine. I haven't actually really played anywhere close to 10 games yet. But we will take a look at the statistics in each of the uh, folders for the first four games and really just, well, I mean, we'll look. I did a write-up, and I did put the box score for the... Uh, suspended game but now uh, and we'll take a look at that but anyway game one uh here is the um box score so um take a quick look at that um you can see morrison i guess was our all-star this game he had a home run and he also had a double so he was two for four with a double and a homer and he struck out twice and Trout went seven. He allowed five hits and walked five guys. So he allowed 10 guys on in seven innings, but only the two earned runs. The bases were littered with Orioles, but he only allowed two of them to score. But down there at the bottom, you can see uh, Palmer went six. He allowed uh, eight hits. Didn't walk anybody, but he allowed eight hits and four runs. And uh, in the end, we ended up winning the game eight to two on that one so um so there's that that uh, game and again trout got the uh win and we'll and we'll look at the write-up that i did for it because this is kind of cool i like this idea again got it from dave gardner so you've got the uh you've got the uh, write-up right here um and then uh which really just describes what happened. And then it describes real life. The real life game was lost by Chicago by the score of 5-3, but the pitching matchup was the same in this simulated game. So this was uh, Trout against Jim Palmer, and that was what the actual opening day 1979 um, game was in Baltimore between the White Sox and the Orioles. But again, I'm not necessarily going for that. It was just that I picked the two logical or two logical starting pitchers to have started on opening day, and it turns out I was right. Um, and then we got a picture of Lamar uh, Johnson uh, because he he also had a very good day for the White Sox. I didn't put, I didn't mention his day, but um, he was three for four with a homer and uh, was also hit by a pitch. So technically, he even had a better day than Morrison did. So we will move along to game two. And game two, I will put up the, um, the box score for as far as we got, which was the um, sixth inning. We got to the bottom of the sixth. And then we got a uh, uh, the rain out call on the um, odd occurrence thing. And uh, so that kind of, uh, that did it. Um, and then the game was rained out. I, it was a, And it was really weird. It was like on the, uh, 
ten-sided die. It was a roll of two to three. I th or one to two. One or two was uh, the game was canceled. And it turned out that that's what happened. So, um, and then we'll go to the recap. And the recap's just going to be pretty quick. This was Kravek versus Flanagan. And so now those two have to move to the bottom of the pile. Um, you know, and pitch whenever the next, whatever, four days later is. Um, and then the real-life game was lost by Chicago by the score of 6-3. So, maybe that's a stay of execution for us on there. I don't know. But we seem to be playing pretty well uh, in the replays. So, game three, uh, we will bring up the box score for that. And uh, that was our wild 10-7 loss to Baltimore. We scored a lot of runs, but uh, so did they. And they scored three more than we did. It was actually 7-7 seven to seven going into, I believe, the bottom of the seventh inning. And then uh, Ed Farmer just fell apart uh, uncharacteristically. I mean, he I, I expected him to be better than that. He really wasn't. He allowed three runs, and those were the three deciding runs, and we lost 10-7. And then we will move and take a quick look at game four. And game four was against Toronto. Of course, Toronto was a very new team in 1979, and they were terrible. And it was reflected in the statistics. Baumgarten pitched this game. He got the win, a complete game win, going nine innings, allowing four hits and no earned runs. And um, and Marv Foley, Marv Foley of all people, had a two-run home run in this game to help us win the game for nothing. Um, we had eight hits. Uh, we did commit an error, and uh, the uh, Blue Jays committed two errors. So that is my look at the uh, season so far. Um, I'm again, I'm playing these games whenever I can because I am loving payoff pitch, and I am loving um, the uh, you know playing the game. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.